Hi, welcome to another video in the tutorials about um, the wallpapers of Submicron. Um, there are some things I'll mention as well in this video, just to keep you on your toes and to tell you that we have rearranged our look here. So a new menu to check out. I hope it's more clear now. The, three, the third party elements, the download, etc. So we're, I think, a few days away for the 15th, the release of Arc Linux, and the wallpapers will be a present for this anniversary. And it is actually a um, person, so Submicron is actually already, was and is a person, Fernando Cruz, who was there at the early start, even at Arch Labs and Arch Merch. So he was already sharing his wallpapers and now we're getting even more wallpapers. So that's his um, URL or his place on the net on DeviantArt. You can have all of admire all the new uh, images he creates. So we got a dump of all his images that he ever created and it's 3.6 gigabytes big. And we were in the midst of putting everything online and we have created a GitHub. And in this GitHub, we have changed, we have added already a different kind of wallpapers. And then we came on and, and we ended with a uh, GitHub. So we pushed it to GitHub and it says it's too big. So what we're going to do now as a consequence, we are going to cut our GitHub in two. And we've done that already a little bit. So basically what I've done up here is say, let's have a Submicron 1 for this um, resolution and let's take one with two. And then we have two packages of 70 megabytes or so. And these guys here are from A till uh, Q, was it? Yeah, till P and then from Q to Z. So two packages, separate packages, just Submicron 1 and 2 to, um, well, to bypass the maximum of 100 megabytes. Easily said and done. What did I do in the meantime? You go to settings. You can always change a repository name here. So that's easily done. So just edit a one here, rename, done. But if you do this, you also need to go inside your Arco Linux in your folder here and then control H, go inside the dot kit in the config and add here, of course, also a one. So this is the URL. Where should I put it? Where should I get it? That's this one. So it used to be this when you saw the error on the video and it's now this. So if we try to push something or get something in this case, control H and we try to update, we have this little script that's ready for us. We've seen it in the previous tutorials and then we need to push it and say, okay, test during video. And then we have to tell, okay, who are you? Username, password. So I'm gonna pause here. And after doing everything here, we see everything is up to date. So that's good. So we have um, the same content on our local machine as online. And then we need to move on again, back to the package build because the package build needs to be split into two as well. So we have a folder, we've figured this out together, we've uh, made it better. So this is now our code. Is it better? No, it's different. A different way to make or cook your recipe, you know, package build kind of recipe. So this is what we came up with. Um, that's good. I've changed already a little bit. It says here one, it says here one, and everything else and that's the fun in creating these package builds if you use a variable up here and use everywhere else variables right, like here package name package name so you only, only have to put it in once up here and don't have to read anything anymore down uh, the line down at the bottom of your scripts it's all good right because of a variable Okay, <clears throat> so this means that if I try to build it, if I say 
build me this package, it should get the wallpaper for from this URL, GitHub, Arctic Linux package name. So this URL, and it's going to be the dot one. We're going to check it again. So this one, let's click on this one. So this is the URL we need to have. This is our GitHub. And this one is that one. So we have here HTTPS github.com, Arca Linux, and a dash. So everything is, that's that one, that's this. We have everything till here. And this thing should be package name. And is this package name underscore without bin with a mod one? Yes, it is. So it's the correct URL, he'll find it. Save it, and then we go and package, make it. So first thing first, maybe it is an educational video. Maybe first do a make package. So don't put it online yet. Build it locally, see what happens. And if you say, okay, this is what I want to have as a result, then you're good to publish it on the net. So this thing, tar xz, is something I can double click and say install, but I'm not going to install. I wanted to get it from the repo. This is the source. This is where the download comes in. And this is then what we provide people inside the package folder. So Arca Linux and then user share backgrounds. And here will be the submicron one without the git with everything else without the git correct without a readme correct and without a setup so that's just administration scripts and then here a license to add so everything looks good it's time to build again and put it on the github so this needs to go that one as well and this little script you've seen it in other videos and skipping a little bit um, i'm not explaining you the clean shroud so uh, Arch Linux wiki clean shroud and you need to sign and make GPG which will lead us too far to explain all that and I really have to study it to tell to you guys again so if everything is created we have a package and a sign uh, package and it's going to move everything to the repo move search and this is again a variable uh, Linux and it's going to delete stuff and then um, everything is in, in the repo. So let's see if we can build it this time. So last time the size was too big. I didn't actually look for it. So it's still in my trash, Ooh, too much in my trash. So let's clean the trash. Can't do anything with the trash like that. So I want to know is I shouldn't have a package bigger than 100 megabytes. Otherwise I'm again, in the same um, lane or problems, the same problems that I had yesterday in the previous video. So how big is it? Click and read down here, 70 megabytes, oh, all good. So as long as it's not over hundred. So open the terminal here, build it me please going to download everything but it's not going to build it like make package going to build it in the root so in a protected environment and we're waiting for all these wallpapers to be compressed signing the package moving created files deleting unnecessary so it's it's a cleanup as well after the build this means that we have an article Linux repo we should check if there is an article Linux wallpaper submicron one with a name with a version and then any package star exit and with a signature signed so we're good to go let's try it again and this time it's less than 100 and we're going to use our scripts of course and here it is adding package 
So I can actually say, and then we've repeated that as well in this video, Control Shift C, Control Shift V. That's what works in Termite, right? Not Control C, Control V, add the shift to it. There we go. And everything is going to be uploaded. Of course, it will take some time. So I'm going to pause here. Now, at this point in time, he says, hey, warning, eh? warning, you have a big file, etc. Remote warning, C, blah, blah, blah. File is 64. It's larger than the GitHub recommended maximum file of 50. But he'll let it put on the net. It's, it's on the net, but it's just a warning. And if we take 100, we are doomed. So if you go to the Arch Linux repo and you check out the commits, I see I have a commit here. So that's my last commit of today. And if you go inside, scroll down, then it's here. So one minute ago, I've put this online. Now, for you to have it, you have to wait. That's one thing. That's um, um, a virtue. Right? Waiting is a virtue. And it's an Arch Linux. Very important that you should just wait from time to time. If there are issues, you should just wait. Two, three days and everything is solved again. Now, making this video, I want to stress again. So we are going to a new version, complete new version in the sense that our alias has changed. So do check if you have the same alias as we all have when we do a clean install. If you have a clean install, then this here is going to be yay minus syu, not yaourt. And the update is down here. That's still the same. But it's this one that's important. And how do you know it? How do you get it? Well, you, there's a video online that I'd like to include it since it's so important here again. Compare what we make as a latest bash RC. So this is what makes this NeoFetch. Why is this NeoFetch showing up when I do a terminal? Because it says down here, NeoFetch. So a lot of things are in here and also the alias, so the PKSYUA. And what I told in the video is you take in these two guys and you compare it and you see if you miss something. So everything is the same. The only thing that's not the same is that we from the ISO, then we add this editor is a nano thing to it. So that's okay. Just leave it as it is. This is super. But if you upgrade from 6.9.2 and you see this bash RC latest that's coming actually from ETC scale, don't forget to copy paste everything from ETC scale, then you see the bash RC latest. Then there are differences. You will see Yaourt there. So see that you have the latest bash or C is the message. Now I've used this time because I know from experience that it's not that fast. When we type update, it's going to check the arch and here we have very good that we have this error. So we have the arch stuff. This is arch Linux from here till here. So these are the repos of arch. These are the Arch Linux repos, these two. And these are the guys for three party, third party stuff. Spotify, Discord, Dropbox and InSync for at this point in time. Just to get these things quickly in because they're long to build or big to build and, and stuff like that. And we need it after clean install. So if this happens, doesn't mean that my signature is broken or anything. It means that the GitHub has not yet synced everything. Now, from time to time, this helps me. So cleaning everything up. So SCC, just Google it. It's actually the, the cache that's going to be uh, cleaned. And it's going to say cache directory var cache back my package. Do you want to remove it? Yes, I'll say. And again, yes, I'll say. And sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's timing, but sometimes it works and you get a, a system that's up to date. And sometimes you have to late, wait a little bit longer. So five more minutes and then we'll see that we can update everything. I'll just um, 
end the video here because we're not finished. We need to make another package, the submicron 1 and the submicron 2. So next video is the submicron 2. So a workflow video because it's the same thing. It's more a copy paste kind of thing. All right.